I am going to make an empty project here. So go to File, New, Project and select the empty project. Okay, now I am going to give the name as tic tac -to. Okay, so now let me first include the header files. Okay, so these are the header files that we uh, will be using in this project. So uh, let me define one global array here named square. It will be of size 10. So let me first fill the value. So I have defined the array here, name square. So here, uh, from one to nine, each number represents the position in the square. Okay. So this is the tic-tac-toe board. So here, in each position, we have a number uh, starting from one to nine. Okay. So these numbers represent this position in the tic-tac-toe board. Okay. So initially, in this position, the value will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine respectively. Okay. And I have placed uh, Oh, here the, this is just only to match the index we won't have any confusion later so now let me de declare some functions here that will be we use uh, so check win uh, is to check whether we have winner or not so another function will be draw board that will be used to draw the board on our screen right so um, i have declared the two functions here i will be defining the functions after the main function okay so let me first write the main functions here so let me define the variable player equals to one i and choice okay so that this player variable is used to keep the track of the player okay so we are going to have two players that is going to be either one or two okay so initially their value is one okay and uh, this i in a variable is used to keep the track of the progress of the game okay so this value will be used to check whether the game is in progress or not okay and choice variable is used to take the choice from the user okay so the choice refers to in which position and the player wants to place the mark okay so to place the mark let me define another character below that is mark okay so this mark uh, will be either this or this okay now let me do do while function okay so do while i is equals to minus one okay so uh, this function will be run until the value of i is equals to minus one okay now, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the board on the screen. So that will be done using our draw board function. Okay. Now, so let me keep the track of the player. Okay. For this, we are going to use a ordinary operator. Okay. So the value of player will be player modulo two. Or two okay. So we are checking here if the value of player uh, divided by the 2 is equal to 0 or not okay so if, it, if the value is 0 then it will return the false if the value is 1 then it will return the true value okay so if this value is true that is if that is not divisible by 2 okay then the player will be 1 otherwise the player will be 2 okay so now let me take the input from the user okay player person d that will be going to be either player 1 or player 2 okay and let me scan this and place it in the choice variable okay okay now i have scanned the value okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to use if else statement to check what is the choice uh, entered by the user okay so if choice is equals to 1 and value in the first position in square is equals to that is a character 1 then we are going to place 
now mark in this position okay so what we are doing here is if the choice enter by user is one okay and in the first position that is the square one it is in the first position okay so and in the first position there is still the value one okay so this indicates that if, if in the first position there is the still value one then that position is vacant that is there is no mark place yet okay so in that place we are going to place the mark okay similarly else if choice is equals to two and in the square 2 or position 2 is 2 then we are going to place the mark in that position okay so we are going to do this for all the position from 3 to 9 okay so for that see, let me simply copy this okay okay now let me edit this Mm, this will be three. Okay, let me first edit these lines. Okay, then I'll be back. Get back to you. Okay, so I have here I have finished all. Okay, so if the user enters the choice uh, other than that value from one to nine, okay, so else we are going to print invalid option. Okay, and I am going to decrease the value of the player once, and I am going to return to the game. Okay, so uh, I have. Um, decrement the value of player here uh, so i will uh, tell you why i have done this in a little while okay so let me first write the two lines of code here so i am going to check the winner first okay check win okay and this function returns the integer value if you remember here this function returns the integer value okay that integer value we are going to store in i okay so this uh, function will be returning one if there is a winner okay this will be returning minus one if it is still uh, the game is in progress and it will return zero if the game has been drawn okay so and we are going to increase the value of the player once okay so after the player one enter the choice then the next turn is after player two that, that is why i have increment the value of the player here here, okay so why i have uh, decrement the value of player here is because if the player one gives the indirect option then the value of the player is increment to player two okay but if the player one enters the invalid option then the player one should get another chance to enter the option so uh, that's why i have decrement the value of player so that it stays at the player one if he makes a wrong choice okay so let me put the mark here so the mark will be if the player is equals to one okay then the mark will be this otherwise the mark will be this okay so we have to change the mark for player one and player two also right so we are using the turn arrow property here to place the mark okay let me print something here also okay so if the player one means then we have to show the message that which player win okay that is player one or player two okay so if the value of i is equals to one okay then what we have the winner here okay so we are going to print player person d one 
and still we have to decrease the value of player because uh, in this loop the value of the player is implemented after he has given his choice right so we have to decrease the value again here else print app game draw okay and we are going to exit the console okay in this case also we have to exit the game so let me write these lines here okay this is going to apply for this both case okay if the player won also if the game is drawn also we are going to exit from the game right another one thing whenever this loop is finished or this loop is terminates then the board will disappear because uh, we are drawing the board in this loop only okay so what we have to do is we have to again draw the board here okay so that will be done by using our function draw board okay so that's it for the main function okay now let me define the function that i have declared above that is to check min okay this will return the integer value okay so uh, we have to check the win winner as you can see here combination of the winner is this this okay so if the value in the position this position one is equals to the value in the position two and the value in the position three if this value are equal then we have a winner similarly in this marked position if this value in this position are equal then we will have the winner okay so we have to check if the value in this position are equal or not okay in this position if the values are equal then of course we have the winner otherwise the game is drawn so again we are going to use the if else statement here okay so what we are going to do is if What I check here is if the value in the position 1 is equal to the value in the position 2 and in the value of position 2 is equal to the value in the position 3. Okay, then we have the winner. Okay, so we are going to return 1 in this case. Okay, so if we have the winner, then we are going to return 1. Similarly, else if value in the position 4 the value in the position 5 and the value in the position 5 equals to the value in the position 6 then again we have the winner right again if the value in the position 7 equals the value in the position 8 and the value in the position 8 equals the value in the position 9 then again we have a winner right so we have covered these three cases these three okay so now we have to check these vertical combinations also okay that is 147 258 and 369 okay so let me copy this okay and that will be easy i guess for the vertical uh, let me see the position here position are 1 4 and 7 right 1 4 and 7 similarly the another position is you can see 2 5 and 8 right 2 5 and 8 similarly the another position is 3 6 and 9 3 6 and 9 okay so we have covered this horizontal and the vertical okay so uh, we have these diagonal positions also that is 159 and 357 okay so let me do it for this diagonal also so what are the positions that are 1 5 and 9 okay 
and the another position is 3, 5 and 7, okay, 3, 7, okay, so if these combination are true, then it is going to return 1, that is we have the winner, okay, so else for the draw condition, right, so if square 1, is not equals to one right uh, so we are going to check if this commission did not match and if all the position are filled okay that is the position are not packing okay so we have placed all the mark in all the position only if number in this position are not available okay so that's why i have written here if the square one is not equals to one right and square two is not equals to two and square 3 is not equals to 3 uh, I have Okay, so if this is the case, then we are going to return 0, okay, that means we have no winner, that is there is draw, okay, else we are going to return minus 1, okay, if this condition doesn't match, didn't match all this condition, then we are going to return minus 1, that is the game is still in the progress, okay. This is it for the uh, check winner function. Okay, so now we are going to write a function to draw the board. Okay, so void draw board. Okay, so there should be line here, horizontal line also. Okay, this line should be repeated here. right okay and this will place the mark here right okay now again in the middle portion there will be the characters right so let me copy this in this position there will be the value of square 4 5 and 6 okay after that these two line will be again repeated so that will form the board right again let me copy this line and in here will be the value of 9 8 and 7 okay okay this one is done let me place another one line yeah. Okay, so this will draw the board, I guess, right? Let me first compile this and see whether it is running or not. Okay, so press F9 for compile. Okay, first let me save this. Yeah, let me press that. Okay, it is compiling, it may take some time. So I have error here. So, what's the error? Let me see. Square was not declared on the scope. Okay, so let me see where the error is. So I think the error here is that it is uh, not accepting the double quotation mark. Okay, so let me uh, write it to single here. Okay. 
let me change this to a single quotation mark okay Okay, so I have to return um, replace the double quotation mark. Also, I don't know why it isn't accepting the double quotation here. Now let me compile this. Okay, let me see. Okay, now let me play. Now it's come up here too. Our game is running now okay so um, let me do some extra thing here so what I want to do is I want to play the victory sound whenever the player wins okay so to do that let me import one header here include multimedia system that is m system dot h okay so now um, we have to copy the uh, path of the file where the music file is located okay so let me copy that save the sound in the music okay this one right so let me copy the path ctrl c okay now we have to play the sound right so we are going to play the sound whenever the player wins okay so we have to place here right so uh, there is the function play sound okay text and here we have to provide the path okay uh, so we have to place the double slash here music and name of the music was win dot win okay Second argument will be null and this will be SND Okay, so we need to put the linker in this compiler. Okay, so the compiler cannot find this path okay in the computer. So we have to place the linker. Okay, so to place the linker, go to project and in the project option in the parameters, place the linker name dash l w i n m n. Okay place that and click on ok now let me compile this ok it is done it is showing done here let me ok so let me mm, do the same move ok you see so when the player won the sound has been played right ok so now let me change the color of the console also okay so let me make it more colorful so to make it more con colorful we have to use the system function okay so in system function the color okay now you can uh, play with a different color okay so let, if i use 1a so let me see what color i get so i am getting the blue and green color okay so this uh, number represents the color of the background whereas the the A represents the color of the text. Okay, so if I make it B, then you can see that we are, we are getting this aqua blue color with this blue background. Okay, okay. So now let me 
place another four and I okay. Let me see what okay. So it is taking me to uh, red and white. Okay. So what if I change this to a? Okay, it is taking the red and green. Okay, so in this way you can change the color of the console also. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you like this video. So if you like it, please do like, share, and subscribe.